So this is the uh, Totora Reed boat building Just up there you can see what business going. it's a um, family business and they made it you know, the guy they made it to Tahiti Maroc Egypt Geneva Iran Iraq um, Brussels they've been to Denmark all over the world with these reed boats just to prove that the Andean our old Aymara technique actually works to navigate on any condition <laughs> Wow, this is pretty cool. much a reed boat technique to use them. You know, so it's a lot of reed, and they're using these things are actually used as what they call the chuima, as the heart, and that's the most important part of the actual strap. If the heart is weak, then this will they get the heart, and then they compound it into stronger things, you know, and they make the actual reed. Boat. Now this is the original actual shape of a reed boat, an Aymara reed boat, which they used thousands of years ago. The Aymara culture to navigate all over Lake Titicaca. The guide is. Taking us down. And, and then we're going to meet the real guy. Luckily, he's here, Tio Paulino. Oh, okay. He's been all over the world, and he's like 70, uh, sorry, 82 years old. Un dia, tia. Now, he's going to show you his name. We got some um, quinoa plantations, but that's not ready yet. And there's also some green beans, plus also potatoes. Have you heard the legend of potato? No. Legend of potato say that the God gave uh, the indigenous, the Aymara, the potato to fight against the Spanish because the Spanish wanted to eat this, which is actually what comes out on the plant. But they don't know what's inside, and that's actually what you can eat. If you eat this, it'll cause you diarrhea. <laughs> so while the Spanish were sick, they get attacked. <laughs> We've been invited <laughs> into uh, Tio's <laughs> special <laughs> workshop. <laughs> this is the Tio. He's 82 years old, he's been building these boats for a this very long time. He's building it and sailing and it sailing. as the head engineer. The right one went all the way up to Morocco, and then the right two just collapsed here as they were coming back. This is the Ulu expedition. Look how big it was. It was about 38 meters long and about six and a half uh, meters thick. Okay? They built it actually in Callao because we have no sea, so they have to take the material from here and build it in